Well, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else watching, as the report of the week says, uh, Review Bra says, we are going to have less luck turning the radio on and having something to talk about. Because it is that in-between period after Christmas, before New Year's, when there's going to be a little Christmas music on the radio, but not that much. Let's see what we got. Oh, there we go. La Isla Bonita. The beautiful Iceland. Um, for some reason, some people who are from the beautiful island say Iceland. Um, but Madonna doesn't do that. Madonna knows how to read. And she knows how to pronounce things. And she knows how to change. And she knows how to succeed. Very interesting person Madonna is. Madonna is from Detroit. If you had to pick one city where American music professionals, famous people are from, if you can only pick one city, you would pick Detroit, at least from the 60s on, because you've got all of Motown, and that's a lot of important artists right there but also apart from Motown you've got Kid Rock and Madonna and Aretha Franklin I don't think Aretha Franklin was with Motown was she I don't think so um, and Eminem so we've got uh, lots of important people from Detroit within American music one of them is Madonna and the other that springs to mind would be Diana Ross, who just released an album. Madonna, still making waves. What did she do lately? She uh, appeared dressed as a dominatrix on an award show. Eh, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, Madonna made one of my favorite movies called Evita. Vita is one of my favorite musicals. It's not really a musical because there isn't any spoken dialogue in it. A musical is technically singing and then talking and then singing and then talking. But if they just sing, then it's an opera. But it's not um, classical music. It's rock opera. So Evita is a great movie. Madonna stars in it. Antonio Banderas stars in it. And it was the first play I was in for years and years. So I did a play in 1985, and then I didn't do any plays until 2016 when I did Evita. Of course, I had a zillion performances in between, but they weren't plays. So Madonna's in one of my favorite movies. I saw it a whole bunch of times. Um, it's a great stage show, and it's also a great movie. A lot of times... Um, there's such a difference between the stage show and the movies that one can be good and one can be bad. Um, Patti LuPone is famous for the Broadway uh, version of Evita, which of course it was created first for Broadway. And it, you know, she's was well, probably created first for London. But anyway, um, she's famous and she does a wonderful job in the stage productions you know she did a great job Madonna does something different her voice is not at all like Patti LuPone's um, which is fine the material holds up Madonna's Madonna and Patti LuPone is Patti LuPone um, lots of people can do a Vita if, it's, if the materials good a lot of people can do it a lot of different ways um, basically the movie Evita is a two-hour music video Madonna makes good music videos. There you go. So that was La Isla Bonita, the beautiful island. Um, when artists are trying to be seen as exotic or not normal, not the girl next door, then they often pretend like they're Hispanic. We've got lots of Hollywood examples of that. Um, Ricardo Montalban putting 
dark makeup on so he can pretend like he's a Native American, um, Rita Moreno, doing a little accent that could be Asian, could be uh, Middle Eastern, could be African, could be Hispanic. Um, lots and lots of artists have talked about that, um, you know, just a little exotic, a little dark, a little beyond um, Debbie Reynolds, you know, if they want to be Elizabeth Taylor or rather than Debbie Reynolds, if they want to be Angelina Jolie rather than um, Jennifer Aniston. So that was Madonna's Spanish-ish song good song nothing wrong with it good pop song isn't making fun of any um, Hispanic culture just using a couple Hispanic phrases in a Spanish guitar in a nice pop song um, I don't think she's been accused of cultural appropriation but hey give it time so that is La Isla Bonita I'm in South Florida, which is muy bonita, bonita, and that's it. See you next time.